Hello everybody, I've got an unboxing to do tonight. This is a huge childhood item I've been looking for, but the price hasn't ever been right. I finally found one that the price was somewhat reasonable, so I went ahead and pulled the trigger and got it. Let's unbox. Looks like a reasonable packing job. And here is the item. The Bulova Wall Clock Quartz. Vintage. It's got a C-cell movement. Cosmo Quartz is what the brand is. I have been looking for one of these for a long time. When I was a kid, one of these used to hang in my grandpa's office. So I have been wanting to get another one of these for a long time. Don't know if it, it's going to work. It's a little cracked on the top. The picture showed that, but not a big deal. I think I can repair that out and maybe repaint it. But here's a look at it. The numbers are raised. I do remember that from childhood. Looked just like this. So I'm real, real happy to have one. This is as is. That's real glass too. So that's excellent. I'm going to get over here and get a C-cell. Pardon me. Let's see if it works. If it doesn't, no big deal. I can just put a quartz movement that I have. It's trying. Well, let's play with it. To take it apart, one of these, just push on the glass and the cover comes right off. So that can be easily repaired now. There's the original color. It was a bright yellow. And I can repair that plastic. Probably fell off the wall. Let's put the glass like that. I can check my battery a little bit. I've got this little meter. See if we got that pegs the meter. Should be a good battery. Looks like it's got a little over one and a half volts, so that should run. It's trying. I think the movement is dead. Somebody's been into it. I'm going to get into it. And I didn't expect it to work. But maybe I can see why it doesn't work. It's already ruined. So that's, I'm not going to hurt anything if I do this. Put a little dab of oil on it. See if it would start 
working. What do you know about that? If it's already screwed up, there's really no harm in doing stuff like this. I don't think. So now I need to find something to get that excess oil off. I also did this same thing to that, that C-cell quartz movement that's in my bedroom on that homemade wall clock and it's been working for years I just want to get the excessive oil off doesn't take much oil at all I put a little LA's totally awesome on the chamois swab And I do have a place I want to put this. So that was an easy fix. And now the thing is, does it keep time accurately? Let's just marvel at that vintage quartz movement for a little bit. I'm actually really excited I was able to revive it. That makes me quite happy. It appears to be working properly. What I'm going to do while I'm here, I'm going to put some deoxit on the chamois swab and just get this little bit of corrosion off before it turns into a bigger problem. the old battery back in it. It's ticking away. But for right now I'm going to go ahead and just stick it back together. And I am going to set it and see how accurate it is. Alright, it is 750. So I'm going to put the battery in right now. And we'll just let that run a little while and see how accurate it's going to be. I'll come back in a little while give it about an hour. That'll give an indication of how accurate it's running. And I'm going to set it back a little bit. Don't want that thing to take a spill. It took so long to find one. 
watch it run for a little while. It's ticking right along. I like that old quartz logo that actually shows a symbol of a quartz crystal. That's pretty cool. Let's zoom in on that and take a close look at it. That's pretty cool right there. You don't see that anymore at all. I like those raised numbers. I like that font. This is just huge childhood right here. Never thought I'd see another one of these again. And we'll come back here in a little while and see how it's doing. Alright, it's about an hour or so later. Nine oh nine, nine oh nine. I think we got a winner. I'll let it run about a day just to be sure. Next step I'm gonna do I've got this plastic bonder adhesive and that'll fill that crack in quite well. I may have just enough to do this job. If not, I'll have to go get another bottle at the hardware store. But that's what I'm going to use. I've used that to repair grates on box fans before. It works quite well. And then I'll just grind it down and put and clean it up real good. Put some adhesion promoter on it and then spray it. I'm probably going to paint it the same color as that clock I put in the hall bathroom because that's where I think I'm going to put it. And then I'll move that other one out to the storage building where I got the lawnmower and everything. It'll be fine out there so I don't have a clock out there. So I'll come back when I get some more progress done on this. I got my plastic epoxy on. It's a little high in some spots, but I got some deep gouges that need to be filled in. I'll just grind the excess down with the Dremel. And then to get some sandpaper and sand it down and get it ready to paint. It's the next day. I'm back on this vintage bull of a clock. I've got all the cracks filled with that epoxy. And I spent most of the morning sanding it down. It turned out pretty well. There's where the worst of it was. I'm getting ready to apply this plastic adhesion promoter where I can top coat it with that same beige paint that I used on that clock that's in the bathroom right now. Oh, a few hours later it's all painted up. My repairs did pretty good. Nothing real noticeable after painting it. So I think it will be, be about time to reassemble it. And there it is all put back together. Still keeping great time. And here it is all installed. Looks more period correct. And that dial face is real close to the color of the tile. So that's cool. So once again, this has been refurbishing a vintage Bulova quartz clock. Thank you for watching.